active bus. It has been a while since I made a video, so we have a lot done and kind of a lot to go over. Uh, first off, we got our plumbing installed. Um, we go over to here to the sink. And so these are all installed and we have cold water running. Everything goes down to the drains, down to the floor. So, um, so this one uh, is a double sink drain, goes down. I went towards the back of the cabinet because I kind of want to keep, I hate how sinks always like crowd this area with the plumbing. So it went down, went through P-trap, down to the floor. That hole was a miscut. It went into one of the support frames uh, for the floor joist. So I wanted to move it back a little bit so we could just go straight down. Um, over here, uh, I don't know if I like this washer yet. It's kind of a pain and it's kind of cheap. I don't like it and you have to fill it through the top. But that's all plumbed in and works. You wash your clothes over here, then throw them in this side and they dry them. And I just kind of tested it out and it does get them pretty dry. So that's cool. Uh, moving on back, we got our bathroom kind of set up. There's a water here that's not installed and um, this is all waterproof coating that we're working on getting all sealed up so um, our bathroom will be leak proof we have a vent fan that's going to suck moisture out this is the bathroom sink again the cold water is functioning it all drains down this one i chose to go out to the back to where all of our plumbing stuff is and then go down and same thing with these guys, they just went to the back. Boom, I don't have the shower drain in yet because I don't have a shower drain yet. That's supposed to come tomorrow. We're gonna go underneath the bus and then to the back of the bus. There's our kitchen drain, comes down, goes through all the way back to the back of the bus. This is in front of the rear wheels. Now when we go behind the rear wheels, that is the washing machine drain. Comes in there and then goes over to that guy, which goes into our gray water tank, which we also installed. For the most part, I hope that we will be able to drain it wherever we're at. But because it's just, we also put a little hose bib on it so we can water the flowers, things like that. We have an extra tank over here that'll be another freshwater tank that isn't plumbed in but we're gonna have a switch on it so that like this one we can pull water from it but they won't be directly connected because that'll be more of like a reserve tank if we need it when we need it kind of thing uh, so we'll have it where we fill from this side this will be connected over to there so we can fill that side as well up top, and here is all of our plumbing. It is a mess, kinda. Water comes in through the floor, up into our water filter, down to our water pump. Our water pump goes to this little toy drill. Just kidding. Goes out here, we have a valve here. So this will shut off our main water supply. If we ever need to really do any reconfigurations here, uh, that'll shut it all off. Now that goes down here, which splits the water. Now this will go down to the washing machine. This will go to that front sink. This comes up to this T. This tees off and goes to the bathroom sink. This comes up to another T. This has a valve on it, and this will be for the shower. This goes up, and this will go to the water heater. Coming back from the water heater, we go to this valve, so we can shut off all the hot water. Um, this will go to the shower, so this will also kind of act as a shower valve as well. Or I might end up moving it to the shower anyway, because we already have a valve here to shut off from the water heater. Uh, this will go to the shower, coming down, this one goes to the bathroom, this one goes to the washer and dryer, and this one goes to that front sink. 
that is pretty much everything we've been up to. Um, underneath, we have this line that comes down and into the tank. Those aren't welded yet because we're gonna cut this in half and add that shower drain that'll come from that side. Uh, but other than that, the sink drain comes through the wall, comes out here, same with the water lines that we saw earlier. We're probably gonna put some sort of rubber gasket or some sort of a, you know, close those holes up a bit. Our vent from the bathroom comes out there. And then what I did was I 3D printed this housing for a fan. And this will go ahead and go up in there. And then that will have another one of those kind of vents that goes to the back of the lights, which will then go out one of those two. I haven't decided which one. It really depends on which one lines up better. From there, uh, that's it. But then the other thing we got going on is this back window. Uh, I attempted to pull it out and I broke the window. We weren't gonna use the windows back here. We're actually going to take that one out as well. And then we're gonna replace it with this diamond plate sheet metal. Uh, I would've got regular sheet metal, but I couldn't find anywhere, any at the hardware store. So this was the next best choice. And then this side, we're gonna make a box because that water heater is gonna come out here onto the back of the bus.